Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission Chairman Wafula Chabukati now says he cannot guaranteed, guarantee free, fair and credible elections in next week's fresh presidential poll if things remain as they are at the Electoral Commission. Chabukati is also calling for immediate resignation of all staff who have been adversely mentioned in the bungled August 8th presidential election in order to allow his new project team to function without interference. Our senior political affairs reporter Duncan Heimber is working on that story and begins our coverage tonight. Yet another surprise move a few hours after the dramatic resignation of Commissioner Rosalina Kombe, the chairman at the helm of IEBC, with only seven days before next Thursday's repeat presidential election, sending mixed signals on whether he will really be in office come Thursday. I shall not go down in history of this country as the national returning officer that plunged the country into a further crisis than I found it. It's already painful for me to be on record as a chairman of the IBC that presided over a presidential election that was nullified by the Supreme Court. For the first time, the chairman, who was not accompanied by any other commissioners to the media briefing, opened up saying that all is not well at the anniversary towers, as he cited his frustrations. I've made several attempts to make critical changes, but all my motions have been defeated by a majority of the commissioners. Under such conditions, it's difficult to guarantee a free, fair, and credible elections. And he directly called for the resignation of all commission members implicated in the bungled presidential election led by Chief Executive Officer Ezra Chiloba alongside two other commissioners. Without critical changes in key secretariat staff, free, fair, and credible elections will surely be compromised. I therefore call on the staff who have been adversely mentioned to step aside to allow this project team to function without interference. For the second time, he hinted on a possible resignation should factors remain as they are. The expectations Kenyans have on me are very high, yet I cannot move forward with a divided commission. I cannot move forward when presidential candidates refuse to put their personal interests aside and for once serve the country. His parting shot indicating what could as well be interpreted as the writing on the wall. As a lawyer, I cannot continue to be pushed by majority commissioners to accept legal opinions that serve partisan interests and are not grounded in the constitution and the law. In the least, I find this as intellectual dishonesty for which my professional training demands that I abhor. I would rather bow out with my name intact and my head lifted high than be part of a process where personal interests drive the interest of the nation. I realize that my actions in this noble office will define me for life. My actions will become my legacy and the reference point not only for my life, but that of my family. I'm therefore not ready to sacrifice an internal legacy for short-term gains that will sear my conscience. The seemingly angered chairman has given Jubilee and NASA presidential candidates one more chance to meet the commission for dialogue to iron out outstanding issues, or else he says he cannot commit to serve as the national returning officer in order to deliver a credible election. From the IBC chairman Wafula Chebukati's statement, it remains unclear whether or not he'll still be there by Thursday next week when the country is expected to go back for the fresh presidential election. Duncan Heimba, KTN News, at the Bomas of Kenya.